I knew little about octopuses, not even that the scientifically correct plural is not octopi, as I had always believed. But what I did know intrigued me. Here is an animal with venom like a snake, a beak like a parrot, and ink like an old-fashioned pen. It can weigh as much as a man and stretch as long as a car, yet it can pour its baggy, boneless body through an opening the size of an orange. What I didn't know was that these wondrous creatures would change my life forever and open my eyes to what it means to have a soul. I'm Cy Montgomery, an author with a passion for wildlife. Journey with me to learn about these affectionate, sentimental beings and uncover the soul of an octopus. The New England Aquarium attracts over 1.3 million visitors a year and is home to over 2,000 species of animals, including a giant Pacific octopus whom I was so eager to meet. As I walked through the crowded halls, I felt nervous and excited at the same time, but I had no clue that my life was about to change forever. When I first touched Athena and she met my arm with her cold, delicate tentacles, I felt an overwhelming sense of connectedness, as if she knew me like an old friend. I immediately became obsessed with the life of the octopuses and returned to the New England Aquarium every chance I could. Soon, I became familiar to them. They would always come greet me when I came to see them. Hey, Octavia. How you doing today? My excitement about octopuses took me out of the borders of the New England Aquarium and ultimately even out of the United States. I just had to see an octopus in the wild, and in order to do so, I had to learn to scuba dive. Uh, don't forget, when you get in the water, breathe through your nose and through the respirator. And uh, if you have any troubles, just pull twice on your cord and have fun in Mexico. All right, thank you. Yeah, get in there. Journey with me in a surprising exploration into the wonder of consciousness and the soul of an octopus. Oh yeah, I'll take it to the air completely. Really? Oh, oh my gosh. gosh.